Hi, this is Sarah of allabout.zoomshare.com here today to give you an overview of Zoomshare email. The first step is to log into your Zoomshare page like I'm doing now. After you've logged in, you'll see that you can click your email tab on the top red tab. After clicking that you are presented with your ZoomShare mailbox. Please note that on the right upper right of the screen you can see your ZoomShare email address. Mine is Sarah at ZoomShare.com and on the left you'll see your message folders which are inbox where new messages are received, saved items where you can permanently save and store messages to refer back to in the future. Sent items where you can access messages which have already been mailed. Trash and junk folder where you can see deleted emails and junk mail. Also on the left side of your screen you'll see that you can compose a new mail message. Access an address book to save email addresses of frequently mailed contacts set preferences, read help text to learn more about email, and log out of email. And if you do happen to log out, you can log back in by clicking the email tab again, like I'm doing now. Next, I am going to show you how to accomplish a few tasks within email. The first thing I'm going to explain is how to compose a new mail message. So you would need to click Compose and enter in a recipient's email address in the To field. I'm going to type in an email address, but I'm also going to click Address Book on the right of that to access a saved email address. I'm going to click the checkbox next to it and select the field that I want to send that email address to, to CC or BCC. I'm going to send that email address to the To field and click OK. Also, please note that you can add an email address, of course, to the CC and BCC fields. And, of course, I'm going to enter in text in the subject field of the email message. And text in the body of the mail message. And then when I'm done with that, there are a few additional options. Below that, you'll see you can add an attachment by browsing and then adding the attachment. Please note that the attachment size at this time is limited to one megabyte or less. You can also, you have the option of canceling the message or simply sending it, as I am doing now. I'd also like to point out that you can set up a forwarding rule for your ZoomShare email so that email sent to, for example, in my case, sarah at zoomshare.com would not land in my ZoomShare mailbox inbox, but would instead be forwarded to an external non-ZoomShare mailbox, such as a Yahoo Gmail or Hotmail account. To set up that preference from email, of course, I would click Preferences. And then you will see that there's a field there that I'm drawing your attention to called Forward My Mail To. In that field is where you would enter in the external email address. Please note that you would, of course, not enter in the email address associated with the mailbox you're working within, your Zoom Share mail email box. You would only enter in an external address there. And I'm entering my Yahoo account. And then, of course, after that, I'm going to click Save. And then if I wanted to remove that forwarding rule, I would remove that email address from that field and click Save again. Finally, within your mail folder, such as your inbox, you can work with messages to organize them. You can delete them or move them to another folder. You can select one message by clicking the checkbox next to it, or you can click Check All to select all the messages showing in that screen and move a larger quantity of messages that way. If you select one message, click the checkbox next to it. I'm going to go into my saved items, 
select a message, and I'm actually going to click Delete Checked. That will, of course, move the message to the trash bin. But if I've only recently deleted it, then I can retrieve it by going into Trash, finding the message again by selecting the checkbox, and then you'll see on the bottom of your screen there, there's a field Move Checked To, and I'm going to select the folder I want to move it to, which is saved, and click OK, and it moves the message into the folder. I certainly hope that this overview of email has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, we can be reached at www.allabout.zoomshare.com and I can be reached at www.sare.zoomshare.com. Thank you for watching.